Hi everyone, today on the RV Hobbyist we install a 12 volt fan in our RV's bedroom. Hi y'all, I don't know about you guys but we like to have a fan on when we sleep. But when you're boondocking, you can't run the air conditioner, and you uh, can't really plug in. You could plug in a fan if you have an inverter, but uh, a little 12 volt fan will work just fine for us. And so, I'm going to turn this around and show you. We picked up this little fan. Actually, I've seen them on Amazon. They come with a clip, which we took off. And uh, as you can tell, they're, they're not very, I didn't measure it. It's not very big. It's like maybe 5 inches in diameter. But it oscillates and it gives enough air to feel good and it can plug right into 12 volts. So I've got some tools back here. What I'm going to do is I'll show you how I, I took the clip off and then there is one, room for one screw. Now obviously you could drill holes and put other screws through there if you want. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to use the one hole uh, for one screw. But to back that up, I'm also going to use some some Scotch uh, extra strong Velcro that's supposed to hold up to 10 pounds. And uh, then the screw is actually, I'm going to put this on first, and then I'm going to um, screw the screw right through this when I'm ready to mount it to the wall heavy duty Velcro on anything, you, you need to take some alcohol and a paper towel and wet the, wet the paper towel with the alcohol and then clean this off really well. If you don't, chances are it's not going to stick because it's going to have your finger uh, oil on it and dirt, grime, whatever. You're going to do the exact same thing to the wall wherever you end up mounting it as well. So I am going to pause this and get my Velcro installed on the back of this and then we'll go from there. Okay, what I decided to do, what I decided to do is to take this uh, off here. So, and there is a washer that just fell. So that I can just mount this first to the wall and let it cure for several hours if not at least overnight before I put the fan on. The fan, like I said, didn't weigh that much, but I want this to stay. I don't want it to fall off, so that's the way I'm going to do it. So what I did was I, I peeled off the sticky and stuck one layer of the Velcro stuff onto the bracket. And then I took another layer and, and uh, went ahead and, and did the hook and loop thing and pushed it together to match it it up exactly so now all I have to do is peel this off and stick it on the wall where I want it and I'm still not sure if I'm going to put a screw through that screw hole there or not I may but uh, remember clean the wall with alcohol before you stick this right, so I've decided where I want to put this on my wall and so I am peeling off the backing so that the adhesive is exposed and then I'm going to stick it Make sure if you have any upper cabinets like these that open up, make sure that they have clearance. So I've checked that out and I do have clearance of where I'm going to mount this. Okay, so I have mounted my bracket. Again, I have the option of putting a screw through here. Not sure if I'm going to. Probably if I have any issue with uh, it falling off, then I will put a screw there. But even now, it's really sturdy. And of course, this is Velcro, so I can take the bracket off and leave the other part stuck to the wall. So I'm going to give it a while, and then I'm going to reattach uh, the fan. In the meantime, I'm going to go back under here. Let's see if I can turn the light on. Um, I have a panel back here in the bedroom that has a 12-volt uh, outlet. It's a ch charging center, but it's got the cigarette plug, which is what the... the uh, fan actually uses 
and then beside it it's two USB they're under those little flaps there I bought a splitter for the 12 volt plug and the reason being for that is when we're boondocking I run my CPAP off of the 12 volt as well that's this adapter here that I bought for my ResMed uh, CPAP, CPAP and so I'm gonna have a splitter back here and it should work fine if not my husband is an electric electrical technician and so he will figure it out if it blows a breaker or something all right it's been a while so I am reattaching the fan I've got the uh, the bolt and the nut through here and I'm just gonna have to tighten them up now and uh, not too tight because I want to be able to move this fan to where I want it when it's oscillating so that's the next step all right the fan is mounted and now I'm going to do some tidying up of this cable so as you can see it has a on off switch right here I'm going to use some of this same Velcro to mount that probably underneath or somewhere about like this. I'll use it to mount it underneath and then it's easy to reach to turn it on and off. And then I'm also going to use some uh, command strip cable <clears throat> ties. They're not really ties but they're like clips and I'm going to use that to tidy up this cord and run it back to where it's going to be plugged in so that's next okay the on off switch is mounted so now I'm going to use these little clips they're command clips for cable and this is what they look like so what you want to do is you want to install it on a flat surface either up like that or to the side like that because of gravity, see that the cable slides in this little clip. So if it's going to be on a wall, you want to have the open part where the clip, the cable goes in, pointing upwards due to gravity. And then uh, if it's on uh, a ceiling or an uh, or underside of a cabinet, you'll want to have it like this uh, because you're going to want to have it clear over next to the wall. So in order to get the cable in um, or take it out you'll want the opening towards you. So that's what I'm going to do next. Again, I'm, don't forget to use alcohol to wipe where you're going to put all this. Okay, so I only used two of these little cord clips because the uh, 12 volt plug socket is right there. This, this fan came with a lot of uh, extra cord that I don't need, so uh, we zip tied that and then uh, I put my splitter in the 12 volt outlet and plugged in the fan so let's see if it works oh yeah one more thing before I let you go <clears throat> okay back over here at these uh, at this charging center you notice that I've got a 13.3 that's the USBs are in there so, if I can get my hand out of the way, this is where we'll be charging our phones at night. And uh, then this is the 12 volt, as I said. This splitter has a bright red light on it. Now, um, electrical tape is your friend. So, if you don't like that red light, which I'm not going to like, uh, I think that you can actually even turn this on and off, which is way cool. No, you can't. Okay, but anyway. I'm gonna put some tape over that so that doesn't shine in my eyes and I'm probably gonna put some tape <laughs> over that too a really thin little piece because I have enough lights coming off of things that I don't need that anyway that's just a little helpful hint so see you next time well that's it for this episode if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share it until next time remember whatever your hobbies are you can take them on the road